respected madam abudai and all other dignitaries well wishers who are all assembled here and uh, i come prepared to speak volumes about uh, dr prasad ra sir and abudai gave me only few minutes and uh, i don't know how it is you know it is going to be very difficult what i have to cut short and what i have to speak but i will try to complete uh, within time i know prasad ra sir since last 25 years i am his phd student and he is not only my guide he is my philosopher and he is my greatest motivator in my life already many of the speakers uh, uh, you know explained or uh, memorized or and you know are told various things but i would like to touch upon some of the points which were not uh, uh, spoken by my earlier speakers and uh, no i will uh, touch upon few things like uh, one thing which we comes to my mind whenever i remind servers he is the greatest human being and extraordinary leader i would like to share one particular thing that as an iipn i have an opportunity to watch him very closely and one thing is that whenever he comes to office in the morning once he get down from his vehicle to reach his office in the first floor i can say that it may take 20 to 30 minutes and i am not exaggerating means he will start interacting with each and everybody who comes on his way and i will also would like to share even he will also talk to mali which is you know next to working with him that is the kind of you know personality or the humility i you know uh, which we can uh, see in him, in him he is very sensitive to employees and employees problems whenever anybody is having problems one can go very freely and i can approach him and it is very easy to approach not only employees i know personally that he helped many of the children of uh, you no know, employees and he helped them and you know i can say that he can he has settled them recently i visited iip that is just you uh, know uh, uh, after this news i could interact with many people and i can see many people remembering him and feeling very bad about this sudden uh, the demise of professor sir and you can see that i th remember i think closely maybe it is 24 years after his retirement these many people are memorizing him and feeling bad about him i really feel that what is the uh, no uh, what he earned in life other than the materialistic questions and i feel or i admire that one should be you know like him i would like to you know memorize few things as a research scholar earlier we don't have a research club which is very active but sir took lot of interest in research scholars club at iip and it was renewed and various dignitaries were called i can say that i am fortunate enough to meet people or the personalities like mm sharma and mashalkar in those days as a research student i could be able to meet those people that is all due to the greatness of prasad ra sir in iip prasad ra sir's era it is called as you know before prasad ra and after prasad ra that is the way people classify iip history because that is the mark he left on iip if you look at you know during his period iip has gone to the world map because so many collaborations were initiated and so many technologies were commercialized so iip was come to the end world map and if you look at funds wise so many projects used to bring before his era people says that there is a dearth of funds but during his tenure there is no dearth of funds there are so many projects and also the manpower whether it is scientific or non scientific that is at speak that is the highest manpower when compared to the you know, later on years during his tenure there are lot of you know opportunities for the employees or research scholars to go abroad and come back that is the you know uh, it is so vibrant in his time because of his 
his may his contacts or his perseveration or various other interactions i can say that lot of students and employees they used to go on different exchange programs and other uh, you know programs and i wanted to uh, uh, no it is one of the famous i think you know people who are from iip they might be knowing and also sir also told me so many times there is one employee he is an assistant uh, research assistant grade and uh, once he come to prasad rasa and he told sir i am going to retire and in my lifetime i never boarded a flight it is my wish that i wanted to board a flight and uh, sir made it a possible and he was sent to a seminar and he has gone by flight with the expenses of iip and you know uh, he memorizes this is one of the example that how he can walk extra mile for his employees and there are two other landmark you know achievements are you know everybody because you know, prasad rao sir forms from catalysis fraternity and the catalysis symposium which we conducted in ipsl baroda that is the landmark achievement every catalysis scientist they remember and they say that as a model event anybody can organize and subsequent to that in iip in 1997 national catalysis seminar the who and who of this you know entire you know indian catalysis as well as foreign fraternity all people were gathered at one point these are the two events which helped to increase the stature of our indian catalysis world and world uh, you know stays another angle which i would like to bring it to all uh, your notice is that prasad rao sir he worked for the upliftment of the poor and upliftment of the needy people and he spent his own money as well as he took contributions from various people and organizations and he used that for the mainly that avidi which he adopted he always says that chiranjeevi the avidi is my adopted village and i am working tirelessly to the upliftment of people in my village and he also says that chiranjeevi you have to also emulate this type of qualities in your life and you also should work you know in this direction and i never forget all those words what he told me uh, during my all interactions over a period of 25 years and i would like to say that he built uh, uh, and helped for the toilets roads and temples in the avidi uh, village one more quality which i admire is that the love and affection which he had for his gurus and his teachers and his guru professor mn sastri he established this endowment fund and uh, you know few years back out of that you know they will conduct endowment lectures and other you know academic uh, activities they started that is only mainly and the initiative of dr t s r prasad rao sir and also he is in continuous touch with our research scholars you know fraternity and he showed lot of love he always says that all my research scholars are just like my son uday that shows that how much affection and love and his students were there across the world i may be one of the student may be staying in india most of all his students were in abroad and they are in very very good positions and another thing which was you know nobody mentioned or this that he is extraordinary spiritual angle he spends lot of time this you know it spiritual uh, activity and i used to say that sir uh, your life is so busy how you can spend such a long time in uh, in this spiritual activity he says that chiranjeevi after this prayer i am like a rejuvenated catalyst so don't say that i am wasting or i am doing something else basically i am rejuvenating myself so you also try to practice that that is the thing which he, he preaches me and another thing as an andhra university student uh, and also he says that chiranjeevi we should work for the betterment of andhra university so let us establish andhra university alumni chapter at you know delhi and uh, suleman is also here is a secretary and also uh, professor Na nageshwar rao uh, uh, for vice chancellor he also came here we had uh, two meetings and i am very happy to say that even bpcl also contributed for this uh, no triple a chapter and we had given money uh, no for the uh, infra development for andhra university uh, no th that is the way because you know he never sit idle and whatever the you know way uh, we can help he always uh, no motivates people to do 
and uh, work in that way. And uh, last year, I it, I was happened to be in uh, you know, Hyderabad during Corona case were not uh, you know, still gone. I gave a courtesy call to Prasad Rasar, sir, I am here in Hyderabad. And you know, after two days, I, you know, I came an official assignment, so I'm going back. Then he instructed me that, Chiranjeevi, you are not leaving Hyderabad without meeting me. That is the way he comments. And I feel lucky, and it's a God's given opportunity that I met sir, and I spent quality time with uh, uh, sir, and madam, and Harita, and Ananya, and Advait, for almost for a few hours. And also, here I would like to mention that, um, uh, Mrs. Prasadara, Madam, the kind of love and affection which you have shown to me and my family members, as well as the entire research colors community, Madam, we never forget and you know, we will cherish all these memories throughout our life. And one good thing is that we all Prasad Rasa qualities were there in uh, Uday and Harita. If you can uh, interact with these people, you never forget. And uh, no, we would love to be in touch with them. Uday, we all uh, know, uh, love and we love to be uh, you know, in touch with you and see your father in you now. So uh, this is one uh, good thing what I can see. I never expected that to attend this uh, type of, you know, uh, prayer function for my uh, no, beloved guide, Prasadra sir. But one thing is that I feel happy for one thing. His life is contented. Seen all good things in his life. And even attended his uh, granddaughter's Arangetram function also recently. So, in one way I feel that it is also uh, no, a good way uh, after seeing these many things and also the way he uh, left this world also, he always says that I don't want to see uh, any kind of, you know, anybody who's serving for me. I wanted to live peacefully without, you know, uh, no anything. That, because I will say that he is in so continuous touch with me. If I am not calling over a period of two weeks or so, I will get a call. Chiranjeevi, you are not calling nowadays. What happened? Uh, you are forgetting this old man. Is it so? So this kind of affection and... Uh, uh, these things, you know, really I miss. I am always uh, talking to my wife, Madhavi, who is here that, you know, I don't know who is going to replace this, you know, uh, figure in my life. And I pray God for giving strength to Madam Uday and Harita to sail through this difficult phase. And also I pray God for the, uh, you know, uh, peace for the uh, soul, Dr. T.S.R. Prasadra. Thank you. Thanks a lot.